Fast forward a day and I have finally completed the assembly and testing of the 3D printer. The pulleys, the end stops and the electronics plus uh, the first first wave of calibration I guess has been completed. Um, this has allowed me to um, complete my first calibration print. This is the 20mm by 20mm uh, test cube. Um, it's not bad, it's it's very, very square. Um, however, using the uh, the calipers, it's out by about half a millimeter in, in certain axes. So I will need to take another pass over the calibration. I'll show you a couple of things that I've found that's pertinent to this particular kit that you may encounter. The first one is the MOSFET, which powers the heat bed. Um, I was finding the temperature on that MOSFET reaching very high temperatures very, very fast. It was only a matter of time before the part failed or it caught fire. Um, what I've done to, to solve that issue was attach a heatsink to the MOSFET. Because there isn't a lot of space around the MOSFET, the uh, heatsink that I had lying around was too big, so I had to chop it down to fit. But either way, that does the job very well. There, there is heatsink compound in between that MOSFET transistor and that heatsink to transfer the heat, and um, yeah, that's, that's fixed it. The other issue that I'm encountering is with the PCB heat bed itself. The PCB heat bed has a bow in it because we're using one millimeter carbon fiber. That is happy to follow that bow, unfortunately, rather than uh, flatten it out. I, I guess using glass of, of, a, of a particular thickness would flatten out the PCB heat bed instead. So that's an issue that I'm going to have to try to work on. That hasn't stopped me, of course, from producing my first calibration print because I'm only printing in the dead center and, well, it's fairly flat there. Uh, the cable that came pre-soldered onto the PCB heat bed I ended up having to remove and throw away. Um, the fresh solder that I tried to apply wouldn't take. Uh, ended up chopping that off and re-stripping the cable only to find tarnished copper. So the, the, the cable must have been left in a bucket of water or something. But no biggie, had some spare cable lying around. Uh, all in all, uh, for a first print, I'm, I, I'm, I guess I'm very happy. This is my first 3D printer and um, I'm not exactly sure what to expect um, from, from this. So I will continue to calibrate and print and I think I'm pretty much there. Uh, of course I will need to tidy up a lot of this this wiring. Um, I have uh, already installed the, the cable um, loom that's that's come with it and, and that's done a nice job up there but I'll I guess I'll just tidy up the back of this but besides that everything seems to be working and um, yeah it's a it's a great little kit.